Well, here we have two figures, figure one and two. I changed the book a little bit. I put the prime notation. I don't like having more than one A, B, and C. But um, let's have a look at, at what we've got here. This side corresponds to this side. Now, we were already told the scale factor, but we could have figured it out. We could have said 3.5 is to 5 and said, okay, well, if I double that ratio, that's 7 to 10. So that is the scale factor. This is 7 tenths of this. So if I know that, <laughs> this is easy. Let's go around the figure. This is 4 times 7 tenths, 6 times 7 tenths, 8 times 7 tenths, and 3 times 7 tenths. So a little bit of a quick arithmetic, and you can fill those all in. And there you go. That's your chart. That's stage 1. Now we're going to move on and let's graph this on the Cartesian plane. Here we've got figure one and figure two. And just so we're clear, this is going to be the x axis and figure two, those values or measures will be on the y axis. And that's our data from the other, uh, that we just worked on from part A. And I've got the first point plotted here, 3.55. Well, let's plot the rest. Let's put in BC, 2.84. CD, 4.26. DE, 5.68. And finally, EA, 2.13. And should be no surprise to you that, well, since this is a, um, well, these figures are proportional, that they are similar, that this is a linear relationship. So there you go, linear relationship. Now all we need is a slope, and we can have an equation for this line. And um, as we'd expect, we have a y-intercept of zero. Don't know that it makes any sense to go in the negative ranges, but a line is a line, so let's, let's figure it out. I'm going to just take any two points at random, these two. And instead of writing that y2 minus y1 business and x2 and x1, I'm just going to say up 3 over 2.1. So when you're figuring out slope and you get this, that's not a very pretty looking slope. A real quick way to make that something with some whole numbers, good respectable whole numbers, let's do this. I move the decimal point, multiply by 10. Now I've got 30 twenty firsts. But 30 and 21 have a common factor. Yes, they do, and that common factor is 3. So I would then convert it into this. Seems roundabout, but honestly, that three steps, that's the, probably the quickest way for you to see that the slope of this is 10 sevenths. Of course, the, you could have just used from 0, 0 to this point, but where's the fun in that? So we did it a little more interesting here. We have a slope of 10 sevenths, and now if we have a y-intercept of 0, I'd have to say we're done because that is the equation of the line. y equals 10x plus, or y equals 10 sevenths x, and the intercept is zero. Uh, how does that compare to the scale factor? Well, it looks like the reciprocal of the scale factor, because the scale factor was given from the perspective of figure one to figure two. If I gave it the scale factor the other way, uh, the other way, the multiplier would have been 10 sevenths, and that would have worked out just fine. And um, nice representation, different way to look at things. But there you go, you've got it done with proportions. You can do this with scale factor. You can even graph it on a line.